We're live. Welcome to Student Stock, better known as where Mike changes his shirt every couple, every set. <laughs> um, what I want to show you today is uh, one of my favorite ones to do in Photoshop. This is where you get to learn how to make things from images that um, had no camera involved, just straight up Photoshop. This image that you're looking at right here, um, what we're going to do is show you how to put in that lightning and show you how to move it anywhere you want without, um, as far as lightning is concerned, without having to do any photos uh, with your camera. So let's get started. Here's how you do it. I'm going to open a file, brand new one, and it's real important that you make the file this size, even if you're going to put this image in a huge file. So I've got 300 pixels by 300 pixels, and I always use a resolution of 300. Small file, 263K. There it is, let's just make it bigger with Command Plus. And the first thing I want to do is do a gradient. So I use the gradient tool, and I want a white to black gradient. You can see everything is set there for white to black. So I'm just gonna go from corner to corner. This could change how it, the final look if I went from top to bottom. And you might want to play with that, but for me, doing it from here to here. Um, I've created a white to black image um, with 300 pixels by 300 pixels and all I'm going to do is go up to and grab this filter right here under filter go to render go to difference clouds and instantly you've got this black and white image and what I'm going to do is inverse it so go to select and inverse it. I just did Command I on my Mac. And you can start to see a little white streak coming through here. So if we just go up to levels, shortcut for that is Command L. And if I start to play with these levels, you'll start to see some lightning showing up. So I'm bringing the middle bar across until I have it like I like it. You can see you can make it any way you want. I like having a little, I'll call it smoke, along the lightning. Say OK, and you've got yourself a lightning, but here's how you put it in the image. You need to open up another image, so I'm going to do that. And let's just put it in this shot we have right here. I've got it already in there. I'm going to turn it off, and here's how I do that. I take the image, I move it off the side take my move tool, grab it, drag it into the file, and it shows up. Next thing I'm going to do is spin it so that it, it starts to go in the position that I want. I kind of like this way, right there, with that at the top. Put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it right here. In fact, I think I'll have it hitting that tree right there. And I'll move it around more later. And then the final thing you need to do is go to, in your layers palette, slide down to screen. And you'll notice all the black disappeared. Again, I was in my, I'm on that layer. I clicked up here, slid down to screen. I've got the image. I then just grab my erase tool, erase any parts of this that I don't like just along the edges so that there's no square there. See that square disappearing? And I've got lightning in my image that I can put anywhere that I want. See that straight line? Let's fix that real quick. Make sure you're on the lightning layer. Erase that a little bit and you've got lightning anywhere you like. You can use it, it can go to any size you want to file. Just by making it larger, lightning does not have to have a lot of pixels to look like lightning. And that's pretty much it for lightning for today. It's Mike Agliolo for Student Stock. Soon. See you then.